that stuff now. So I'm seeing a lot of people call him different names. I'm just not sure. Isn't it not, doesn't he go by King Diddy now? <laughs> I, the, I, Duke? I, the Duke so of Diddington? I mean, I, I guess we just Duke figured out, guys, that P. Diddy, he's part of the royal family. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the show. I think the Duke of Diddington is <laughs> about right right now. <laughs> Duke of I mean, I don't want Diddy's people coming for me, so I don't want to pile on. But yeah, no. he's in some trouble. Do you he have is. any connections with? Uh, have you ever passed, you know, cross paths? <laughs> no. Uh, he's operating at a higher <laughs> echelon than me. I don't know what <laughs> echelon is, but it seems like <laughs> a no, it sounds higher. Yeah, yeah. He, there should be a book on his renaming, though, because that was always like. I, I don't know if you guys have these h- high school or middle school memories of like you P Diddy cha- he's not he's not P Diddy anymore he's going by a new name. I mean that that was like that, with that, uh, that had been red flags right. Well, Prince had like one name change. But didn't he change it to like a, a symbol? symbol? Yeah. A symbol. That was kind of cool. cool. The artist yeah. formerly known as Prince. Yeah, yeah. and I mean that was pretty cool. And that was it. But that's like but that had to have been red flags. I mean, how many times did he have to change his name? It's like yeah. I don't trust a guy with so many nicknames. Wait, so what is he now? Somebody was saying he was like like that. Uh, Suge Knight, even from prison, was like, "You better change that name before you get to prison." Like it was some name that, like Sugar Daddy or yeah. something like that. Weird. That's what he's rocking with right now. Yeah. Sugar Daddy. Did you guys ever no? change like what you went by? I had a friend that went. He was Chris, and he wa- he came in one day and he wanted us all to call him Topher. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a joke. This is a real story. That's and crazy. I looked at him in the eyes and said, "I'm. I won't. I won't. <laughs> I yeah, respect this. His name was Chris, you. and he wanted to be Topher. He want just one day out of oh, the because his name was Chris Topher. Topher. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Topher Grace was didn't popular. Even get that. That's that's pretty clever. You thing. didn't get that. No, I didn't get that. So was like, Topher. <laughs> is it? Was it cool with you guys if I go by Topher from now on? And I said, "I. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to get there. Just yeah. so we're. I respect the journey you're on, but I don't. I respect you too much to call you that." <laughs> Honestly, if you picked a, a more random name, I probably would have supported. Yeah, you could come up. I'm gonna call me Rex. Right. Sure. Or like T Bird. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, man, T Bird. Let's do that. But Topher, I can't. I can't come up. I knew with a that. guy named Daryl, and he wanted to be called Mitch, <laughs> and he just said he always liked the name Mitch, <laughs> and it worked. We all said, all right, and uh, we just called him Mitch, and that's. What's wrong with that, though? That's pretty I cool. I mean, yeah. can't, can't that's a support yeah. of, group we of friends. We should just be all collective. Like, if you don't like your name, you should be able to change it. Are you? C- is it legally Dusty, or is it is it Dustin, or it's Dustin? Dustin, legally. Yeah. But my legally. parents <laughs> gave me that name, uh, re- wrote it on the birth certificate, but they always called me Dusty from the get-go. Yeah, no one's ever called me Dustin, <laughs> and so I don't even know why they wrote it down. That's yeah, so odd. That's a that's a thing parents do. I hear people they're like, yeah, we're gonna name him this and call him that. It's not as big of a leap as that, but like Andy Andrew, like my name's Andrew, but they've never called me that. Like it's always been Andy, and so it's like just then just do that, dude. Just Anthony, make it make Andy. that happen. Yeah. Anthony's a grab bag. You get you get people fire off with Tony right away. I love Tony. 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 Antonio. They just play. It's like it's like an invitation to that just is like a, that is a fun name to scrabble my it. name up and then give it back to me. My nephew is Anthony. He g- he likes to go by Ant. Yeah, that's oh. what my family calls me. Ant. Yeah, that's like yeah. my close, my close Nef- nephew Ant. Yeah, I was trying to get him to do some social media things one time. We were gonna do a real Ant channel where we were gonna film a lot of stuff on ants. But <laughs> we were in Colorado and he was getting into the dispensaries pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and we were gonna do a whole Ant thing. And then he got home. I think he sobered up a bit. And he you lose interest of <laughs> <Yeah>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's kind of what was fueling it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turns out I'm really not into insects. <laughs> I was in, though. I was trying to run that page. I was trying to. I had access right. to it. I was trying to keep that going. And you don't know where we're sitting. <laughs> we're sitting on a gold mine. What an ant gold mine. What a terrible part of your sobriety that you would realize you're like five years into a project that when you're clean, you're just not interested in ants at all. Be disappointed. I have now. I have no interest in this thing. Well, he went to shows with me, and I was selling all these shirts at mm-hmm. shows, and he's like, "I want to do that. I want to sell shirts." And I'm like, "Well, you got to have a. They're not just buying the shirts. <laughs> I mean, they are, but they they like my comedy. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it, it's a relation to me, and they know the money's going to me. They want yeah. 
<laughs> so I was like, we got to get you a thing going. Yeah. We can get you a thing going, and then you can go, you know, go viral on the internet, and then you can probably sell some shirts. You just go to Goodwill, grab a bunch of shirts, and sit outside a venue and just sell <laughs> shirts. <laughs> just <laughs> hey, man, just put a stamp on them. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, just write, like, get a sharpie and just write your signature on it, and make it. S- just be very vague <laughs> about it. It's a repurposed collection. Yeah. Oh. I love well, it. well, Dusty, what do you think about aliens? Well, I don't think aliens are real. All right. I would hope uh, so cause because there's spacism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> where are like they coming from? Up. I mean, I think people are seeing things. Yeah. You know, but I think aliens are demons. Oh, nice. Same. Yeah. Like literal demons? Well, you know, it's like who knows what all these things are. Yeah. But I think it's more dimensional beings, right? Like, you know, they are. Alien in a sense, but not space alien. Yeah, alien in our s- our minds. Like yeah, just like another dimension. Yeah, you know, Alistair Crowley, like uh, or Crowley, however you say it, he was the you know the father of Satanism, and he says he was visited by a demon, and then either him or his wife drew a picture of the demon that they saw, and the demon looked like what we would like a gray, like a gray alien. It's literally oh Marvin. The way. Way. Yeah, and she oh. turns it around. <laughs> the Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's him. What? That's him, officer. <laughs> but that, that's no, I agree I've with you. That's, 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 that's where I, what I think too. It's just like I gotta start looking into it more because I'm just like that. I hear that idea, and it's just like so out of this world to me. That's yeah, it. That oh, that is. <laughs> Dude, Dude, that's an alien. I literally yeah. can't see. Like an ink yeah. blot. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I, can't, I can't unsee the alien now. Yeah, if you look at that and you just see two apples next to each other, you've lived a good life. <laughs> 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 Your parents <laughs> stayed together. <laughs> yeah. you, you, everything was perfect. You're like, I don't get it. I just see two apples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Delicious apples, and I'm so hungry right I'm now. I'm always like three steps behind from seeing it. Did you guys ever do the um, where your eyes have to relax? And yeah, like that's, an that's hard. We did, oh yeah, we did it. yeah. What is it? A stereogram? Yeah, like or two episodes like ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was editing. That was hilarious. I <laughs> cut a short out of it and just like looking at everyone's faces while they're like going yeah, like cross-eyed. cross-eyed and but that was the opposite Dude. of relaxing your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> when he's like, cross your eyes. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, I get. I I've lied every one of them. I, I'll just sync up. <laughs> wow. Be like, oh, you I guys. See it. You guys. You. We both saw a l- last bird. Yep. <laughs> I saw that too. That's what I was looking at. Certainly not just a blurry bunch of images. <laughs> there was one going around a while on the internet where you could like you would hold your phone like this and it would say like you know Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> 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 I'm on the internet a lot. Do you scroll? Do you like uh, are you on TikTok mostly? Well, or it's what? like I, you know, lately I've been doing theaters, right? So now I'm traveling almost every day when I'm on the road. But for so long, I go to a city, I'm there three days, mm-hmm. and so I'm like two days in a hotel. I don't like to do things. You don't venture <laughs> out? Yeah. A little bit sometimes, but I'm always like, I got to get back to the hotel. <laughs> There's stuff <laughs> waiting for yeah, me. Yeah, I got to get back. <laughs> and so I just. That's I'm just so funny. Like, find, like, just imagine, like, just running into you in, like, a city and then just be like, I sorry, I got to get back to the hotel. It's like, oh, you got something? I just, it's just, it's, I got to get back. If I turn the oven off. <laughs> I mean, I'll get on TikTok. I'll be like, all right, I got to get to sleep. I only got two hours before I got to get up. And then the next thing you know, I'm like, oh, I only got an hour now. And I'm like, I just, TikTok is wild now. It yeah. is. And I love it. Yeah. yeah. What does your algorithm look <laughs> like? Dude, it's I'm curious. A lot of, you know, right now, a lot of eclipse stuff. A lot yeah. of eclipse. We talked about that. It's a, uh, uh, I guess the episode came out last week. It hasn't come out yet with our current timeline. We, we shot a lot of episodes before coming here just to like free up time. So okay. but it's happening. the world is But it's wild. Oh, yeah. What, what are we What are we saying about the eclipse? I'm, I'm a little behind on Well, that. it's already happened when this comes out, but there's just if a it, lot if of... If it even comes if. out. Yeah. <laughs> if. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. The greatest <laughs> podcast. <day. laughs> um, yeah, there's just a lot of weird stuff around it. There's li- like... Just like the National Guard is involved, and like all these cities along the path of oh like okay. have gas in your car, like have a printable map, like make sure you have contact with your family, have okay. a, like AM, FM radio, battery powered. It's like, well, that's it's wild. It's like wild. the same list of crap if like a hurricane is like barreling down. Okay, that's, yeah. that's the list. And now they're saying they're launching CERN yep. uh, during the eclipse, and they also say uh, uh, a segment of NASA is going to be launching missiles at the uh, eclipse. What? Yeah, I heard that today. <laughs> what are we doing? It's like uh, called like APEP or something and APEP is named after like a like a uh, you know, some type of demon. 
Well, going back to the symbolism, we were talking about the symbolism, like the dark symbolism in the, yeah. the world before you got here. And it's just like, why is it happening? Why are these? It's so obvious. Yeah, well, they're seeing like this deity that they're naming it after used to f- chase the sun god Ra trying to uh, overtake him. Whoa. This Apep guy. Oh, okay. So they're now they're going to launch missiles at the eclipse. Or rockets or something. But I don't know. It's There's always they're always doing something crazy. They're like, we're gonna try to block out the sun, <laughs> <laughs> combat global warming. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe don't block the sun. <laughs> you could probably just leave it alone for now. Yeah. What's such a bummer is if like the world ends or something, it's gonna go down with my face in a cereal box and my makeshift like eclipse. Goggles, <laughs> goggles that I make at the house. What a sad way to go out. They're gonna be like, this is the last time we saw Anthony, and his face is in the Captain Crunch box. He's still squinting because he didn't make it right. I saw the kids are there. Old Tony didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll just look <laughs> like me. <laughs> There's, uh, I saw that clip again. It's just so funny. Trump when he there in uh, his. Uh, his presidency when he was looking up at the solar eclipse <laughs> without glasses. Squinting. It's just the funniest <laughs> thing. He, he, he just, he's just looking out, he's waving, and then suddenly he just goes... <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear people shout, Don't look up! It's really and bright. <laughs> and, uh, and then he pulls the, the, the glasses out of his pocket and he just shows it to him and then walks away. <laughs> it's just so funny. I had him. Yeah. I had him. I don't need him. I wonder why you're not why you're not supposed to look. I mean, I know you're not supposed to stare at the sun, but if it, if you look at the sun and it's too bright, you look away. Yeah, right. Yeah. But also, the sun's being blocked out, so yeah, you yeah. think there's less sun. Yeah. Well, do you <laughs> ever? <laughs> you know, like I mean, that's there's less sun. That's checking. <laughs> when the cr- when the clouds cover the sun, yeah. and you can like still, I always think yeah, that's yeah. cool. But then I catch myself, and I'm like, oh, I'm not supposed to be doing this. But then I'm like, but why though? Because it's not. I'm okay doing this. I honestly think the government's lying to us. Kids, yeah. stare at the sun as long as you want. <laughs> look at the Every sun. Everyone go outside <laughs> and look at the sun. Take one thing away from this. Take well, a, so time, there take is a, a thing that some people are into called sun gazing, where you do stare at the sun a little bit, and then you get, like, uh, you know, vitamin D in your eye. Oh, yeah, yeah I've heard this. Yeah. I have a friend that stopped wearing sunglasses because yeah. of this. That's crazy. Well, have you have yeah. you heard like the skin cancer conspiracy? Yeah. Where they say like sunglasses and tinted windows and cars and stuff have led to a ton of skin cancer because our brains aren't processing the amount of light that we're actually oh, yeah. absorbing. Oh yeah. That's what I think about. Um, uh, wh- what is it called? Sunblock. Yeah. yeah. Is it's like your your uh, burning is the warning to your body to be like you got too much sun. Yeah. yeah. So put you just put the sunblock on, and then you're still getting sun. But your body is just not able to warn you. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. So you're just taking it in. And what is in dog, that sunscreen? What's in that sunscreen? Yeah, lots of wild stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> the biggest organ on our body, we're like, yeah, protect yeah. me from the thing that's been around since the beginning of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will help. What is NASA doing? Why haven't they blocked this yet? The giver of life to all our plants. Dude. Block me. <laughs> Block it. Dude, there's truth to all that stuff, though. Yeah. You guys remember, like, Spy Optics, like, when that was a huge brand, Spy Sunglasses? Oh, yeah. Dude, they had a Japanese scientist develop a lens. They called it the happy lens because I'm sure the scientific phrasing wasn't marketable. But <laughs> it lets the light through. Your brain, apparently, when you're outdoors, you know, like, they talk about, like, the dopamine and stuff you get from being outdoors. It has to do with the specific, like, frequency of light passing through and that oh. frequency is not harmful to uh. the body or the eye and so they developed a lens that let that through. Oh, that's cool. At least that's what they told me and I had to sell the sunglasses. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was obviously a pyramid scheme you were tied yeah. into. You were selling Dude, I got story. so many free pairs of sunglasses. Wait, so, th- I mean, that sounds good.